Let's have a look at the best Linux themes in 2022. I selected the most attractive themes in my view from the top 30 most popular themes in each desktop category. Have a look and let me know what is your favorite Linux theme. Let's start with GNOME. All the themes are available on gnomelook.org and each theme has an instruction how to install it. I also have a dedicated video where I show how to install Linux themes using Plink Store and manual methods. So I will only focus on the themes themselves in this video. The first GNOME theme is Orchis that I installed on Debian GNOME, but it works as well in other Linux distros with GNOME Desktop, including Ubuntu. It is my favorite GNOME theme at the moment. It has nice rounded corners, pleasant and well-balanced colors. This is a default color scheme, but there is also a dark version and a light version. However, the default theme is a great combination of both dark and light colors. This is how GNOME Shell looks in all his theme. It is combined with Stella icons and this nice wallpaper. There are links to everything in the description of this theme at gnomelook.org. Nordic theme is worth checking out if you like dark themes. I like dark themes, but when the color is closer to gray than to black, this Nordic theme is exactly like that. It perfectly reflects the Nordic grayish weather. It is also a fully complete theme with GTK and shell themes, as well as Nordic icons. The icons are available as the last archive on the download page. Plasma 5 is my favorite desktop, as you may know if you watch my videos. There are plenty of reasons for that, including the ease of installing new themes. You just go to Settings, Appearance, Global Theme, Get new global themes, then just install any theme you like with one click. All installed themes will be shown here, you only need to activate it. For example, you may like this future global theme. It is a light theme. It provides quite different style and color than the default breeze theme. It has rounded corners, some dark colors at the top panel and yellow folders. This is how the menu and widgets look like in this theme. It is a fully complete theme that includes even the cursor theme. I picked this theme mainly because of its color scheme. It is much darker dark theme than I would usually like, but this color is very pleasant to my eyes. Also it is very consistent theme in windows decorations and plasma style. Unfortunately this theme has no theme specific icon pack, so I used breeze chameleon light icons with it. It also looks nice with material manjaro breeze icons. I have all the names and links in the description. Before we proceed to the XFC themes, let me introduce you the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math, science and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, from computers to the cosmos. New courses are added every month. For me as a YouTuber and website owner, it was very useful to learn how search engine work. Taking this course was fun and easy. Helpful explanations along the way never left me guessing. Big data and computers are changing our world, so I believe every Linux enthusiast should learn the core concept of data science and computer science, and Brilliant makes it super easy to do with these learning paths. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash average Linux user, or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I have highlighted various XFCE themes in my previous videos. One of these videos has got over half a million views, so it was difficult to find a nice theme that I have not shown before. But I did. Colloid theme is a nice light theme. There is a dark version too, but I find the light version to be more appealing. I install it together with Reversal Icon Pack. It has a theme specific colloid icons but I find reversal icons to fit much better in this theme. I installed this theme in my fresh Arch Linux installation that I showed in my previous video. XFCE doesn't look pretty by default, but for example with this colloid theme, 
you can turn this into a fantastic looking desktop. For the Dark XFC theme, I chose SkiOS, GTK theme, and colloid icons from the previous theme. This is how the file manager looks. These window buttons are nice, aren't they? The windows borders and other parts of app look matching in color, and this dark color is very pleasant to eyes. Dark enough, but not very black. If you are XFCE user, check my previous videos on XFCE themes. There are many amazing themes that you may find to be even better than the ones I have just shown. I have a complete guide on how to install Cinnamon themes in Linux Mint from different sources. I also showed a few nice themes in that video. For this video, I picked Jesper Lite theme as my favorite. There is no theme specific icons, so I complemented it with reverse of green icons. I tried several different icon sets and this one seems to fit the best. This Jasper theme provides a nice combination of dark and light parts in apps and on the desktop. I use Plasma 5 desktop as you may know, but if I were a Linux Mint user, I would use this Jasper theme on a daily basis. Selecting a dark theme for Cinnamon was a real challenge. I showed my favorite dark Cinnamon theme in my earlier video and I could not find anything new that would come close. So I decided to go for the Dracula theme. It is a very famous dark theme in GNOME, but it is not often used by the Cinnamon user. I think it has a little bit too much of a contrast, but otherwise it is very nice. It is a complete theme that includes window borders, controls, desktop theme and icons. There is Dracula icon pack, but I think this theme looks better with fluent green icons. If you know any nice dark cinnamon theme, please let me know in the comments below. I am very curious. I have never covered Mate themes, as far as I remember. Installing themes in Mate is as easy as in other desktops. Just go to matelook.org, find the GTK theme and install it using OCR install. There is an instruction how to enable OCR install. I also showed how to enable it in my Linux Mint video. You would also need to install an icon theme separately. Most of the themes have a link to a matching icon set in the description. Kyo Gear is one of my all-time favorite themes. I use it in Plasma 5 desktop and it looks as fantastic in Mate. It is a complete theme that includes a GTK theme and icons pack. Both dark and white themes are amazing. If you are a Mate user, Try this theme, most likely you will like it. If you are a fan of Mate Cupertino layout, you will appreciate this White Sur GTK theme. There are many macOS like themes in Linux, but most of them do not look smooth. This one is a well polished theme. Everything is coherent in the file manager style. The menu also looks fine. I have not noticed any problems during my tests. Just make sure you installed White Source Solid version of the theme, because a regular one has this problem in the top menu panel, while the solid one looks fine. All of these themes you have seen are adapted to most Linux desktops. For example, I showed Nordic theme for GNOME, but there is Nordic theme for Plasma 5, XFCE and Mate. There are even more themes that I recommended in my earlier videos. Just click on any of these videos on your screen. Thank you for watching.